spring sowing has become a, a, an increasingly popular way for farmers in the hills and Flurio region to uh, establish their uh, new perennial pasture sowings on their farms. There are four particularly pertinent reasons why farmers are looking more and more at spring sowing. Importantly, compared to traditional autumn sowing, where paddocks are put out of production through the critical winter months, spring sowing by comparison allows us to keep these paddocks in the grazing rotation through those tight autumn winter months before reseeding in spring when we have surplus grass on farms. Another important aspect to why we're so keen on spring sowing is, is because when we are reseeding our rundown pastures we achieve, can achieve far more effective control of winter weeds by spraying out those weeds at the end of winter. For problematic weeds like barley grass we get far more effective control by reseeding uh, at the end of winter than at the start of winter. Similarly for a range of uh, problem uh, winter insect pests and for us black beetle and cockchafer we can avoid those problems rather than having to spray by simply switching sowing times to early spring. And with all those I suppose uh, potential benefits in place. By moving to spring sowing, we've been able to far more reliably uh, establish some of the alternative perennial forages that are summer active plants. Uh, alternative forages for us, like lucerne and chicory. I'm standing here in a paddock that was uh, reseeded uh, here at Mount Jagged back in uh, late August uh, 2016. This is a, now a 12 month stand 12 month old stand of, uh, of chicory pasture that was established using these spring sowing techniques. We've been able to use spring sowing in the hills and Flurio region to reliably establish uh, new pastures of perennial ryegrass, phalaris, prairie grass, lucerne and chicory and on average over the last six years we've achieved about an 85 and a critical element to uh, spring sowing for us is to fallow paddocks in early and mid-August to preserve the winter soil moisture that's present and with or without good spring rains our newly spring sown pastures are then relying on that stored soil moisture to establish reliably. That's been one of the key elements but beyond that of course we need to have good general preparation and follow um, to make spring sowing as reliable as possible. What Dairy SA have done in recent times is put together uh, Hills and Fluro farmers' own experiences in their own programs that they've used with spring sowing into a booklet called 12 Ideas uh, for Dairy Forage. And uh, I'd encourage any interested farmers to perhaps source a copy of that information and those farmers' own program details uh, from one of your local Area Extension Offices.